Do get the fall with the queen too. Keep turning that and playing explains as with late lads. Just be fucking should be stealing ridiculously wide against low VP players and lads that are under three button, but predominantly low VP players. Uh, snap three bet from this guy. Obviously, we're just getting the money in here. Not really questioning it at all. I would say. Uh, we got the jam, so we call. And uh, we get tens. Nice. Does he want to run it twice? I'll run it twice, miss. Negative on the run it twice. What a boss. I mean, nice flop for us, I guess. And he's dead on the turn. I mean, is there a better way to just win a pot that there's no sweat? That's, that's how I like it. Clip it. That is how I like it. No sweat. Half pot there is fine as well, but I'd rather keep the range a little bit wider than I'm always going to bluff the river in that situation. Uh, normally, I would probably tree bet this, but given there's a recreational in the pot, I'd rather just play pots with that player. We do flop trips. Start with a check. Um. Probably just going to call here when he leads on the king. Although raising here might not be bad against his profile, given that there's no draws on the turn here. I think raising here is better than calling. Uh, Ace-10 here, we're going to check behind on this roll. Uh, we are going to fold in that situation. We got called here weirdly. And we got fucking tree bet here, man. Snap tree bet as well. I mean, I don't think I can fold here. But I'm not really sure what I'm ahead of when he snapped tree bets. Really, really not sure here, lads. I'm not worried about this guy. I mean, we just call here, man, but I, got, I I have absolutely no idea what's going on in this hand, lads. No idea. I mean, now we're probably fucked. Now we are probably fucked. Yeah, that's... <laughs> what a fucking flop! <laughs> what a fucking flop, man! That's disgusting. Clip it. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Huh? I really, really didn't think that that was a possibility, a player having kings there. Pocket eights, I thought, might be a possibility. But not when you bet half pot in the river. Never expected your man to check back kings on that flop, lads. Hilarious. This time... See, betting it not, would not be a mistake, but once he checks her now, we start betting. Ace is obviously opening. We get snap three bet here from this guy. We can probably still value bet this on the river. I mean, here we probably can go like 16 big blinds. It's probably okay. Uh, here, I guess we just open rip this flop because I think he's going to call off any pair plus draw, any pair in general, I would say. So I am going to do that. And he gets snapped. Snap by nines, and that's exactly what I mean. Exactly what I mean, and he wants to run it once. Can we hold, boys? Can we hold? Huh? We do. Well, yeah, open ripping that because there's a bunch of, like, worse hands that will call. Obviously, a lot of draws itself. But, yeah, just open ripping the aces there. It seems I think that is the play, for the most part. All right, well, we're losing money here, lads, potentially. So we are, we're not going anywhere with the eights. The money is going in the middle. For 250 bucks, I believe. 
Well, I'm not fucking, uh, I'm not doing that, lads. Just gonna be ripping this in the middle, taking down that, uh, dead money. Especially when I'm OOP in the middle. Uh, falling the 6-5 here. If I was in position at ISO, out of position is when I raise, get this in here. Don't really care. I do get called by the big blind. We'll see what happens, lads. We're gonna be flipping for 400 bucks. What do we run into? What? Well, King Queen. And he wants to run it once. We hold the flop, lads. Ultimate, ultimate sweat. Oh, the 10 and the third. Oh, the ace. We have a King Queen or ace. A King Queen or 10. We are here holding, boys. <laughs> All that for fucking tw 10 big blinds of dead money. All that for 10 big blinds of dead motherfucking money. Fucking take those, lads. Clip it. Uh, three batten Z Jocks. Against King, King Isco. There's probably a reg. By the looks of it. I get called. Well, I am looking for a six of clubs on the turn. I'm looking for a six of clubs on the turn. The arrangements include the high rake. No, sir, they do not. No, sir, they do not. All right, well, if there's a one thing you can ask for in poker, lads, is the six on the turn. One time dealer for the bad beat jackpot. One time. Unfortunately, he checks here. I'm going to check this behind again. We check the turn very, very quickly. Uh, here, we can probably bet. We are going to check this behind. Fuck it, he checked. Uh, probably going to bet nine big blinds here. Just to keep it under the 30 big blind mark. Itself. I don't expect Queen X to ever fold here. For what it's worth. I mean, I just expect this guy to check fold a bunch here. I expect this guy to check fold a bunch here. And we get the fold here on table one, which is nice. We do get called here somehow. Well, my impression of that lad was fucking inaccurate. At least we got better quads, lads, eh? Clip it. Clip eat. Yeah, bro. I was kind of giving out about it towards the end of last year when I was playing Russian cash, man, but like... Right tables are pretty good, man. I'm just folding this here versus half pop, by the way. Um, but if you table select well, games can be pretty good, yeah. Games can be pretty good, bro. So, um, enjoy, enjoying this, Morrissey. Enjoying it a bit, bro. Uh, I'm going to three bet this here this time. I mean, versus half pot here, you can probably assume that this guy is maybe a weaker player on average. I mean, probably still have to peel here for one. But not having back doors with this hand isn't great. Facing a double barrel though, I will start folding. And I will fold to a four bet here as well if this guy does end up doing it. He does calls. So that was a small bet here with the six of hearts. So this guy checks back on the turn here. We'll have some ace queen and ace king in his range here. Maybe some jack x as well. I'm probably just going to check fold this river, I would assume. So that was a small bet here. I mean, half pot is kind of meh. Really fucking meh. Really fucking meh. Is there ever a possibility that I should turn this into a check raise? I kind of prefer check raising this, honestly, than check calling. Problem is, if he doesn't fold ace king or ace queen here, then it's just a shit spot or just shit thing to do. Uh, king six here, we are going to check back now on the turn. And we do get the fold here, which is awesome. Um, so this guy is basically saying he has queen x here when he goes three quarters. Um, but I'm probably still going to call this here. I mean, it's going to be annoying if he turns over, like, ace-queen or, you know, something like that, but can't really fold this in this situation. And nah, he's got king-queen. It is what it is, lads. It's not going to be a smashing call there by any means, but he should end up really check... He should check-raise more than check-call there on the flop. Sad little man. All right, uh, three X here from under the gun. Obviously, going to four or three bet to 12. Here, we're just folding. We got snap called. Gonna start with a small bet here. But it can have some assumption this guy is a weaker player, at least. We are gonna start with a small bet, anyways. We got raised here, we're gonna call and see what happens on the turn. 
If this gives us a recreation, lads, we will not be folding, I don't think. What we're going to call here anyways. He does check back here. We are going to check call this river is what we are going to do. We are going to check call this river because it will be over bluffed. So I'd rather put this in the check line to call river itself. And yeah, I just think we have a very, very clear call here. It's like this is a, this will be very, very over bluffed from both profiles itself. So we think we just have an easy, easy call here. And that's why. That is exactly, exactly why. Fast, he's betting here. Yeah, very, very tight player. We're just gonna let that go on the turn. If he had checked, if he had checked, I would have uh, obviously started bluffing. But once he bets there again, we're just gonna let it go, lads. Here we're three betting this on a low roll, a low or roll. We get called. So having a diamond and a spade here is nice. So I'm gonna start with a bet. Start with a bet this time. A couple of uh, good back doors to barrel on or continue barreling on the turn. I'm going to check this back on the turn now, though, but depolar here is a thing. But I think just checking this back to basically call all rivers is going to be the uh, play here. Even on this river. If he checks, though, I will check this back. Is what I'm thinking. A 780 with a 38 feet pip. Yeah, I'm just going to check this back because... Mm, so he should have, like... Yeah, I'll probably still have to bet this, I'd say. There's going to be bet folding, though. I would assume. We did get called. This might be a bit on the thinner side. Uh, do we actually win with that hand? <laughs> good bet, Alan. Good bet. <laughs> Very good bet, sir. Clip it. That was a good one. Uh, here we're starting with a small bet. We did get called. We're going to check this back on the turn. Uh, queen six here folds. Fold here. Defend this 10 4 as well if it does fall around to us. I will flick in a call here with a fish in the pot, lads. With this hand. I'm gonna get dicey now with top pair, eh? So this guy checked back very, very quickly. I'm probably gonna call call against his profile on a non diamond river, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, still probably gonna call against this guy if he bets again. Yeah, I mean, I don't expect to win here too often, but against a 64 V pit player, lads, I don't think I'm going to be falling top pair, with all due respect. And that's why. And that is why, lads. You do not want to fall there. Just accept your fate in that situation. What if he checks? I don't think he ever does. If he bets, though, eh. Yeah, I mean, I just can't fold this here, like, but I just don't expect to win here too often. Ever. I mean, he has seven five of spades, lads. How the fuck does that lad have seven five of spades there? Can anyone tell me? Absolute madness. Uh, so five four here, we're just calling with the up and down. We called an ISO from this guy. We turn the pair of fives. How do I feel about block betting this turn to check back river? I really actually don't mind it. But I just don't think he's going to check raise. Check raise enough on the turn here, in my opinion. We do river the straight, which is nice. So given how fast he check called the turn here, I don't think he ever has a flush. So I don't have to be too worried about that. Now in terms of size in here, what do I think he's going to call? Probably something like pot size, I guess. If he has like some overpair here with a heart. And we do get calls here. I assume I'm good here most of the time. Yeah, he gets called, we get called by Jax. Which is never a fucking call for what it's worth. But I like my block bit on the turn as well. Clip it. I like my block bit on the turn to always check back river. Uh, not now though. King 10 here. Ah, against a fucking 30 big blind stock, man. Probably can still three about this. Equity against what this guy is probably open and UTG is going to be okay to still 3-bet this, but 3-bet folding, obviously. And obviously this guy calling here makes the dynamic a little bit screwed. Uh, probably just checking range here, and never going to be folding versus this profile is what's going to happen here. I don't think, anyways. So what is he, 10 VPIP? I mean, seems to be relatively tight, but we are going to check call. And as I said, I'm not going to be folding versus this profile, lads. No fucking way. Um, 
So he checked back the turn very quickly. So we can probably discount some King X here. I doubt he bets pot on the flop with, or close to pot with jacks. I doubt. Now he could have some random pocket sevens or pocket fours here, but it is what it is. It's gonna jam now. And he got snapped. He got called by, snapped by A7, lads. I mean, thanks. Fall to a tree bet. I mean, I can't fall to a fucking min tree bet now, lads, can I? Oh, this hand plays absolutely brutal. Anyways, King High. Oh, fuck off. Now I have to call down. <laughs> now I have to call down. No! Right, he starts with a small bet, anyways. Just gonna call. I mean, what a fucking stupid fucking river, man. Seriously. Stupid, stupid fucking river. I mean, I can't fall versus a fucking block bet, man. For God's sake. Ace. Ooh. Ten <laughs> My guy. My guy. You suck, he says then. Wanna fucking take a look at yourself in the mirror, bro? Clip it. That was a good one. I will have to finish up, unfortunately. So we will finish up on this pocket tens and which could end up going in the middle versus the three bet, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is going to be a four bet itself. And it will be a four best call off. Is what's going to happen if this guy jams. We do flop top set, lads, which is always nice. We're going to start with a small bet, though, nonetheless. Not, 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 not a bad hand to finish up on, is it? Uh, I'm going to stay betting on that turn because there's still a bunch of hands that can continue. Stuff like King Queen, Ace Queen, Ace Jack, stuff like that. So I will go for another small bet here on the turn. And oh, we got a clear jam on this river, lads. So we lose the pocket jacks, literally. And some Queen Nine suited. That is it. That is literally it. So yeah, clear jam. I mean, okay. Call with 6-5. I'm okay with that. Not only call, but fucking snap call. Dear fucking God, lads. I mean, a nice hand to finish up on. Clip it. <laughs> call versus small tree bet. See what size he goes here on the flop. So he does check here. Guy doesn't appear to be that much of a fish, so I will start stabbing here. Here we're going to four bet the ace queen. Yeah, it seems good. Swat like around the twenty-one mark seems fine. So I'm going to start with the bet here. So I'm going to start with a small bet with the ace queen. He did call very quickly. So I'm going to start with a small bet, and here we're going to double barrel and give up with out blockers on the river. I would say. Uh, this probably is going to be some flush draws, I would assume. I mean, it's going to be a bit shit if we run into Ace-King here, but I do expect expect him to stack off here. I don't think I could fold Ace-Queen, though, not having clubs. And how do I feel about jamming this? Probably going to try it. So, yeah, we're just going to get this in here. We do get snapped. And he's got Ace-Jack, lads. He's got fucking Ace-Jack. I'll run it twice, mate, for you. Why not? Why the fuck not? Like, just gets it in with Ace Jack, lads. As if it's the fucking nuts. Criminal stuff. Again, like that, as always, I'm not complaining. Clip it. Have you considered shoving the fold? <laughs> that could also work. You're going to have a great fucking red line if you do that, uh, poker enjoyer. For sure, bro. I see a peep. This goes for a tree, but... Oh, he does. Uh, so given we're 150 effective here, I'm thinking something around 27 big blinds is probably fine here. Or maybe slightly bigger. 
Yeah, 30 big blinds here seems good. Because we are like, what, 150 big? 150 deep? And if he jams here, it should never be aces, for what it's worth. If he flats, it can be aces. I mean, as I said, I don't expect this ever to be aces, lads. Be very, very surprised. And he's ace-king. That's what it's going to be most of the time. If he wants to run it twice... Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do it, CM. For the stream, bro. Well, that's a good good first run out. Oh, that's a bad river, boys. That is a bad river. No ace. All right. Okay, we'll chop it. <laughs> yeah, as I said, when he jams there, it's never going to be like aces, lads. Uh, clip it, by the way. 